it's trash picked computer time and I picked up this uh, very shiny although dirty Acer a little while back and uh, it came with no hard drive, no memory I do have a battery, although I'm not sure I might have a hard drive caddy for it and uh, trying to power it up it doesn't really do anything but I haven't tried sticking RAM into it so that might be part of a <laughs> part of a problem but uh, I think the main problem that got this computer discarded is that the DC plug has uh, well it's recessed into the case a bit and doesn't make a proper connection no matter how hard you try so I think it might just be a question of uh, resoldering or getting a new plug or repairing the plug retention plastic inside and I was actually quite a bit surprised when I first opened this thing up if I could manage it one handed guess not to see a Windows 7 logo on it and this is a fairly modern machine actually all glossy and horrible and with a horrible chiclet keyboard although the specs aren't really too amazing despite of that it came with 4 gigs of memory that I didn't get and some half decent AMD processor anyway I'm gonna take the motherboard out of this thing or the case at least and see if maybe it's just for DC plug because this could be a very decent computer for any relative or person who happens to need a computer hmm let's go and my technique for keeping everything in check when I'm disassembling and working with laptops is to have two of these uh, little boxes, one for the bottom bottom side of the laptop one for the top side of the laptop and I just uh, map them out hinge side to hinge side and use the little sortiment thing in there to just uh, map out where the screws go because I don't require really perfect accuracy because it's very easy in general to figure out which screw is supposed to go where and I just put the screws in accordingly and when you've got the screws at the bottom and when you violence violenced your way under the keyboard and taken off to all the screws you see there and undone all the connections which I forgot it's mostly just a, <laughs> a question of using a spudger to crack your way inside I don't particularly fancy working on laptops but it's a real shame just letting them rot so I try and fix them whenever I can these cheap consumer laptops tend to just be assembled with snap locks for the most part so you just sponge your way around until they fall apart you'd be surprised <laughs> to know how much violence you usually have to use in order to get inside you, you'd think that a laptop is assembled like some kind of sensitive device but it's really not There's the motherboard, and a DC plug, and that looks actually quite alright. Weird how this thing isn't doing anything. Although it's just a clamped connection over there, so there could be something wrong with that. Hmm. Well, time to troubleshoot. Gotta find some RAM for it. 
It ain't DDR2 desktop RAM. Could be DDR3. Hmm. Always handy to have a bunch of RAM lying around. You never know when you're going to need it. Alright, so let's get this thing hooked up again and see if it does anything. Should be that plug. There's something. Oh, did more things when I click the power button. Doesn't seem to want to do anything, but I do have a history of having this monitor of the wrong source. I might have been correct in my assumption about the DC check on this thing because probing around here doesn't yield much of a result. power and just to be sure we do have power in there so the DC plug is shot yeah no question about that wiggling it around and stuff kind of brings power to the board so I'm going to try and just put a dab of solder into this uh, into this jack and see if that helps and if it does, well, if I can get it good I'll just uh, keep this soldered jack on and see how long it runs or I'll just do it properly and order a new jack on eBay which will take half a year to get here. Anyway, let's get the iron warmed up. Uh, the reason I'm doing this on my lap rather than on the bench is because I have a MacBook here which I got for free a while ago because the optical drive was shot in it and uh, it's running a screen calibration with my Spider 4 and uh, it seems this display is very susceptible to interference from external light and I just threw a pair of pants on it in order to, well, not get so much interference but uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, hard to do other stuff on the bench at the same time. And there you can see how I've soldered the actual pin of the plug to the solder well, connection on it because they seem to have separated there and caused some sparking and arcing and finally just broken connection because there was so much dirt in there. So with that soldered back Oh well, soldered because it was before. Let's see if this thing will boot. Right, here we go. No, it doesn't seem to be a very good connection after all. Maybe good enough to get it started this time. Right, so I redid the solder joint on the actual plug and it measures okay with the ohm meter now, so let's give it another go and with the internal monitor this time.
seems pretty dead. And we still have our bad connection. How annoying. Right, now we've actually soldered a 19 volt uh, connection on, well, cable onto the underside of a plug. So if this doesn't work, then we're probably looking at more than just a power delivery problem. So let's plug this thing in and see what happens. Without my conductive clothes all over it. Got blue LEDs. This is probably more than just a power delivery problem because the screen should light up now. Next standard practice we're playing the North Bridge. I've seen had problems with quite a few of these AMD North Bridges, so there's hope for this. I've also replaced the CPU just in case. Freed a little bit of space on the bench, so let's see if it'll work now. I'm kind of skeptical, but hey, who knows? Come on. No, this thing doesn't seem to want to go. I doubt there's anything on the external monitor, but it was worth a shot. Nope. Hmm. What a troublesome machine I've checked. All the voltages, it does have RAM voltage, it has V core, the RTC battery is good. Well, sadly, I think this motherboard is just a no go. I've changed for RAM around a bit, I've checked all the voltages that I know of for the north and south bridges, and the CPU, and the RAM, and a bit of stuff like that. And it seems to be starting up as as in the CPU gets going, it gets a bit warm and it uh, initializes the fan controller and everything but we just get no video so I'd wager this thing has a bad north bridge and trying to replace that thing is just not worth it so I think this thing is going to go to the scrap heap just gonna salvage all the spare parts I can put them in the past bin for laptops and that's that, at least it's got a nice new panel and a webcam and fairly fresh hinge assembly, so could get some use out of that if I get a similar model in some time. So yeah, a bit of a shame. Looks so positive when we only had the bad uh, DC plug in the beginning, so I had high hopes for this. Oh well. And for those who are wondering, yes, the MacBook finally got its screen calibrated on the third try. And, uh, yeah, this is a very worn down old CFL panel. You can see it on the calibration curves here. It's set to 6500K, which is fairly bluish, and uh, worn down CFL backlit screens tend to get very red greenish. And you can see how it's had to gain up the blue in relation to the red and green so this CFL is very worn out and it's not very bright at all you 
it's essentially as bright as my other monitors there which are set to a very low brightness generally it's not even as bright as them so I might end up replacing the screen assembler in this thing sometime if I actually keep it I'm kind of torn it's a nice-ish machine but it's got some stupid Apple ideas like not having a delete key, not having a right click button and having these uh, uh, function keys down here all screwed up so yeah but that's something for another time gotta give this machine a try first yeah so this thing's a gunner cheerio let's pop this thing Number two, I've got a 40 Hz sine wave on the input and the amplifier set to maximum volume. 